Hey, this is Lynn Monastery, and I'm with FIA Marketing. Today, I want to talk about the top 10 marketing platforms and tools you need to know about in content marketing going into 2020. Now, remember, content is part of the client buying process. You're moving your prospective clients from awareness stage to consideration to decision to a post decision purchase stage. You can click on the client buying process blog for more info. Now, according to the Content Marketing Institute, content marketing's purpose is to attract and retain customers by consistently creating and curating relevant and valuable content with the intention of changing or enhancing consumer behavior. Remember that it's an ongoing process that is best integrated into your overall marketing strategy and it focuses on owning media, not renting it. Now here are the top 10 marketing platforms and tools I'd like to, you to know about. First is HubSpot, followed by Moz, BuzzSumo, Ubersuggest, Answer the Public, CO Schedules Headline Analyzer, Portens Content Idea Generator, Grammarly, YouTube, and Vidyard. Now first is HubSpot. HubSpot is an all-in-one marketing and sales platform for B2B. And I really like HubSpot for technical service businesses. They have a content management system that includes a blogging platform and personalized website content and landing pages that's personalized to each persona in your marketing journey. HubSpot also has a social media scheduling tool. They turn strangers into prospects, into customers, into promoters. Using their famous flywheel analogy, the attract, engage, the light model. Next is Moz. Moz is, brings a powerful SEO tool set. It does technical site audits, rack tracking of traffic driving keywords, backlink analyzing, and keyword research. It's an all-in-one SEO tool that we use at FIA Marketing. There's also a great tool I want to highlight called the Mozbar. It's a free Chrome extension, and it lets you see page authority and the all-important domain authority and on-page elements. We use it every time to write a blog post. We see what's ranking, what, what the keywords are, what the search volume is, so we can serve better cli content to you or prospective clients and clients. Next is BuzzSumo. So BuzzSumo is great at finding content that's popular on social media. You can research billions of data points to find what's the highest performing piece in a particular niche, and that'll help you hone in your content strategy for your social media and what's the best content to share. You can also find the top influencers using the platform. And another great feature is that you can actually create uh, alerts for your brand so you can respond first. I would say it's a step above Google Alerts. Next is Ubersuggest, which is a poor man's tool for doing keyword research. Ubersuggest helps you find long tail keywords for content marketing strategy and production. It's part of Neil Patel's website. It aggregates data from Google Suggest to give you the best long tail keywords. Next is Answer the Public. I like Answer the Public because it's a data visualization tool. It visualizes the questions that your input keyword generates. So for example, I could put in content marketing and then it will come up with a circle of different questions. So it, it visualizes questions, prepositions, and comparisons. 
It also gives alphabetical results at the end. This tool gives you a good overview of what your audience could be asking when they're looking at your solutions. This is a great tool for coming up with your content marketing strategy and calendar. Now, the next tool is one of my favorites. It's the SEO Schedule Headline Analyzer. Now, after you're done writing your blog post or white paper, you can go to the SEO Schedule Headline Analyzer web page to see how effective your headline is. It's a free way to see how good your headline could be. So did you know that an effective blogging tactic is to have 20 plus headlines per article? So draft 20 plus headlines per article. This is according to Orbit Media. So SEO schedule makes it easier to find the best headline from all those options. So next is the Portent Content Idea Generator. So the Portent Content Idea Generator gives you ideas about blog title topics. So if you're short on ideas after doing research on Moz, BuzzSumo, and Answer the Public, and you just want an answer, go to Portent Content Ideas Generator. You can type in a subject, and then it'll automatically spit out a blog title for you to use. The Content Idea Generator is a shortcut to finding the right content to write about in record time. Next is Grammarly. Now, after writing your content, you'll need to proofread it and edit it. Grammarly has free and paid versions. that helps your writing become clear, effective, and most importantly, mistake-free and error-free. I like Grammarly for its price and its ease of use. I'm putting all of my writing for Grammarly as they have a version for Chrome, an online editor, a version for Windows, and one for Microsoft Office as well. Now next, favorite is YouTube. I like putting videos on YouTube. It's part of our content strategy for getting clients to buy eventually. YouTube is great for awareness stage content. For example, videos that go with this blog post is awareness stage and possibly consideration stage content. So there's also the more videos feature that you can see at the end of YouTube videos, which is why I recommend that you put more important content such as your decision stage and post purchase stage content on other platforms instead and I will tell you which platform it is, and that's Vidyard. We recommend Vidyard to put your decision and post-purchase content because there are no extra videos at the end. And with Vidyard, if say for example, you want to schedule an appointment at the end of the video or schedule a meeting with us at the end of the video, we can put in a link to do that. We recommend putting case studies about the company videos and white paper videos on Vidyard. Now you can put your about the company videos too on YouTube, but remember there's always the more videos feature at the end of YouTube videos, which may cause your audience to lose you at the end of the video because they'll click on to another video and it might be one of your competitors' videos. So these are the, the top 10 content marketing um, platforms and tools to use and to look at in 2020. Thanks for listening, and like, comment, and share. Thanks.